día más ocupado. Sí, es el día más ocupado de hoy. Ya entró bien. Good evening. Ah, Igual de las clases, so people were asking some, some things, some issues about the, the course. They were asking when, when are we going to start the other. Okay, por eso. Okay. Hubieron lágrimas, abrazos y todo. <laughs> Because of the last class. Okay, hello everybody. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Excellent. I'm, 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 I'm cool. I'm relaxed. Tired but happy and ready. I try, teacher. Excellent. Hello, Doribel. How are you? How are you, teacher? I'm good. I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Presente y no ausente, dice. Sorry. Okay, don't worry. Be happy. Okay, my friend. I'm sorry to connect a little bit late, but... Uh, no, estábamos en la transición y esto que traté de conectar justamente but here we are so right now eh, let's see um, we're gonna share our screen and start working porque eso venimos verdad if I'm not mistaken Now, can you see my screen? Yes? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. This is a reading. Okay. I'm going to read for you. It's a taking the risk. Look at the picture and skim the interview, then write the name of the sport next to each picture. Ah, bueno, esa es su actividad, ¿ok? Así que van a, take a look at the reading. Se lo voy a enviar, I want to take a picture. And write the name of the sport on the picture. chat. Good evening, how are you? Very fine, thank you. Excellent. I'm going to send you a picture and then you give me the answer of that. What are the names of the sports in the pictures? Then I'm going to read the article. Write it on the chat. Yes, teacher. Okay.
Okay, so what is the name of, of the sport in picture number one? Buse or teacher? No, you have to say it in English. Aquí están los nombres en el artículo. Hi, Sorry, uh, teacher. I'm gliding. Eh, ah, ah, ok, ok. Vea, no está en, no es, no, listen, listen. Hay algo, algún micrófono abierto ahí que no me deja concentrarme. Ok. No está en orden. No es que esté a la par. Down girls, teacher. Dangers son peligros. Dangers son peligros. Sigan opinando. Scuba diving. Scuba diving, así es. Es el number one, es scuba diving. Ya. No, 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 no. No hagas eso. Si no se le pega con un martillo. <risa> no, por ejemplo. Sí, pero mis muelas ya están queridas, se las voy a no. Se las puedo. Sorry. Okay, so number one, skiba diving. Parachute. Okay, uh, picture number two, parachute, no. Hang gliding? Yes, hang, hang, hang gliding, hang gliding, and number three, Climbing. Yes, climbing mountain. Okay, ahí lo tenemos. Escuba diving, number one. Hang gliding, number two. And climbing mountain, number three. Okay, it says, a Sports World Magazine recently spoke with Jenny Adams, Tom Barker, and Ray Lee about risky sports. Okay, risk is riesgo, okay? Así que taking the risk is tomando el riesgo. So, risky sports son deportes riesgosos o peligrosos. Digamos. A ver. Hang gliding is a dangerous sport, Jenny. What do you enjoy about it? And, ha and, have you, and have you ever had an accident? No, I never been hurt. Maybe I've been lucky sometimes. The wind can be too strong. Once my glider turned upside down. Okay? Se volteó totalmente, okay? And I almost crashed. But I parachuted away just in time. O sea, eh, esta gente anda un paracaída. Just in case for an emergency, okay? Actually, I've always felt that hang gliding is very safe. And it's amazing to be able to fly like a bird.
So far so good. Leamos el otro. Good teacher. Okay, good. Tom, you've been mountain climbing for years. Now, what are some of the dangers you've experienced? Okay, when you're high up on a mountain, the conditions are hard on the human body. The air is thin and you get tired. I live through storms and bad weather, but I like the challenge and I I like I like overcoming danger. That's why I do it or adrenaline. Pure adrenaline, okay. The last one. Ray, have you ever experienced any dangers while scuba diving? Luckily, I haven't. But people can get the vents if, if they come up too quickly. From deep underwater, bubbles, Bubble forms in the blood. The veins can be serious and can even cause death. But the condition is rare. The condition is rare. Okay, the condition is rare. Okay, here. Rarely. Sorry. Oh, rare. Rare here. Diving. Rare. Diving. Okay, diving is in really that dangerous. And the great thing is that it lets you explore another world. All right. No question? Ahora le toca a usted entonces. Hello. This is this is number one, verdad? Eh, sí, la descripción última es del del uno, verdad? Yes, así es, así es. Así es. Entonces es scuba diving. Number one, the last one is scuba diving. Mountain climbing is the last one. Number three. Mm -hmm. number three. And hang lighting is number two. Ahora le toca a usted. A sport. The name of the sport. What they enjoy. And the dangers. Escríbalo. El sport ya lo tiene. ¿Qué es lo que ellos disfrutan? ¿Y cuáles son los peligros?
Okay, what does Jenny enjoy? What does Jenny enjoy? She never had accident, teacher. Okay, that can be a reason. Pero que disfruta? Oh my God. Esa es la palabra. What does what the, I mean, what do everybody enjoy? Flying. She likes fly like a bird. Ah, esa es la sensación que ya siente, ¿verdad? Flying, pongámosle flying like a bird. That's what she enjoys. Flying like a bird. Okay, what about Tom? Uh -huh. What about Tom? He, um, I like the change. He likes the like like change. danger. Okay, he likes the challenge. Vamos a ver acá. This is about reread. Por eso hacen esta actividad. Para, you have to reread. Okay, dice, when you're high up on mountain, the conditions, aquí de otras las condiciones. The air is thin, el, el, el aire, el oxígeno es escaso. You get tired and it's too strong, ta -da -da. but I like the challenge. Ah, ahí está lo que dice usted. I like the challenge and I like overcoming danger. What do you mean overcoming danger? Uh, sobrepasar el, 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 el peligro. O sentirse sobrepasado por el peligro. No, él, él. Superar, teacher. Él super, eh, eso, más que así, eso sería mejor. Ah. Superar. Ok. Superar. So, overcoming danger. Tocámosle eso. Overcoming. Ok. Next. Okay, here. What does Ray enjoy? Explore another board teacher. Explore another world. Good. Okay, what about the dangers? Q. 
teacher is sometimes the wind can be strong. Yes, yes, es un peligro. Sometimes. Number. Oh, that is. Yeah, hang, hang gliding, hang gliding. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, oh, oh okay. Sometimes the wind can number be. Number three. Oh, you have number three. Yeah, no. number three is the great thing is okay. the ele... Saul, Saul, you let me say... explore another world. Another okay, ese ya estuvo, porque ese es what they enjoy. Okay, pero terminemos la idea del compañero. Sometimes the... maybe crash when she flies. Sometimes the wind is strong. Can be oh, oh, okay. Strong. Can be strong. Ah, dejémoslo así. The wind is strong. Oh, can be strong. That's no tiene más sentido. Can be strong. Sometimes the wind can be. Okay. Strong. Can be strong. Can be strong. Can be strong. Here, number two. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Buenas Okay, Tom, what happened to the dangers of mountain climbing? Maybe the condition are hard on the human body. Conditions are hard the human body. Okay. Vamos a mountain climbing. Okay. Uh, when you're uh, the conditions are hard, the human body, okay. Muy bien. Yeah, and the air is thin, the air is thin. And you the get weather. tired. The weather, the weather is hard too. Okay. And the last one is the scuba diving. Uh, aquí vamos. Okay, tell me. The vents can be serious uh, and the, can even cause death. The vents can be serious. Okay, vents is a diverse illness. Esta es la, es la enfermedad de los buzos. Voy a explicarlo en español porque esta es una enfermedad que le da los buzos donde se forman burbujas de aire en la sangre. Enfermedad. De los buzos, de Benz. Así se llama, Benz. Enfermedad de los buzos. Eh, es, tengo entendido que eso se produce por eh, hacer cambios bruscos de presiones eh, por, por bucear, ¿verdad? Por, sí, por ir sí. muy debajo sobre presión del mar y luego subir demasiado rápido. Ah, ok. Ahora nos queda más claro. Gracias. 
Excelente, muy bien. All right, my friends. That's the exercise. Let's continue. Nice, mire. Beautiful. Next, these are some rules that I want you to uh, remind. Okay, vamos a recordarlas. But I need the help of you, for you. Saul, read the first rule. Real? Yeah, read, please. You? Okay. From the past tense of most verbs by adding ed to the base form. Play. Played. Excellent. Excellent, Good. Saul. Excellent. O sea, a la mayoría de verbos regulares le agregamos ed. Right? Ed. Okay? Yeah. In, the, in the pronunciation of the verb that had made, Saul was perfect. Play, played. Lo que hemos estado estudiando, ¿verdad? Ok, ahora, eh, Wendy, the next rule. Hi. Hello. For verbs ending in E or I, E, add T. Okay. Smile. Is, is smile. Tight, tight. Perfect. Mire, verbos que terminan en E, O y E. Solo agrega D. All right. Smile, smile. Tight, tight. You know what is tight, right? The verb tight. Ya. Yeah? Apretado. Atar, 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 amarrar. Atado es el dulce que nosotros le metemos allá viene. La... Atado de dulce. O dulce de atado es la cosa. Ok, ok. Eh, Luis Fernando, can you read the next one? Ok, one. good. Um, ok. For one syllable verb ending in one vowel plus one consonant, double the consonant and add ed. Excellent. Stop, stop. Plan, plan. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. This is talking about one syllable verb. Okay. That in Spanish sería un monosílabo. So what happened? Y estas tienen un patrón. What is the, the pattern? Is consonant, vowel, consonant. Ese es el patrón. Ok. Consonant, vowel, consonant, double the last consonant. Ok. Se duplica la última consonante. And add ed. Alright. Stop, stop. Blend, blend. Alright. Let me see who's the next volunteer. Yeah, to chico, good pronunciation. I'm satisfied. Aquí tenemos más, more volunteers. Mire, bueno, aquí vamos a escoger nosotros. Rebeca, the next rule. This one. What happened, Rebecca? Can you hear me, Rebecca? No, me está sabiendo la novela. Yes. This one. Can you read this rule? Okay. Okay. For two is lively verbs eating in one. Vowel, one consonant, if the first syllable is stressed, as it visited, visited. Okay. 
Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. Okay. For two syllable verbs ending in one vowel plus one consonant, if the first syllable is stressed, add ed. Okay. Visit. Visit it. Visit it. Okay. ¿Qué me está diciendo? You see the ¿Ve ese puntito? You see that point, the little point over here? Y lo ver. You see it. This one. Okay. I know you see it. Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay. That means stress. And what is the stress in English? Es la fuerza de voz. Okay. Entonces la regla dice. If the first syllable is stress, add, add ed. Okay. Like this one. Okay. Solo va a agregar ed. Mire, dice la fuerza de voz en la primera sílaba, en un verbo largo, ¿verdad? O de dos sílabas acá. Sí, dos sílabas. Va a agregar ed. Nada más. Visit. No decimos visit. Decimos, decimos visit. La fuerza de voz en la primera sílaba. ¿Ok? Esa es cuestión de listening. Ok. Next, uh, next rule. Vamos a ver por acá. Hello, hello. Estará por ahí, Marielos. Bueno, si no tenemos aquí a... Uh, Hola, me mencionó. Sí, sí. Perdón, es que no, no alcancé a escuchar mi nombre. Le toca sí, ahorita. Tencia, uh, por haberse tardado. Ok, this one. No, teacher, no. Ok, <laughs> if the second syllable is stressed, W, the consonant, and uh, E, D. E, D. Prefer, prefer. Ok, if the, thank you. If the second syllable is stressed, Double the consonant and add ed, ¿ok? Este es lo contrario de la, de la regla anterior. Aquí está hablando de stress on the second syllable. La fuerza de voz en la segunda sílaba. Prefer. Prefer. ¿Qué vamos a hacer si el stress está en la segunda sílaba? Double the consonant. Duplicamos la última consonante y agregamos ed. Good. Then the last one. Aquí tengo a Heriberto. Hey, hello, hello. Teacher, a question. Mm -hmm. uh, what is stress? Stress. Stress is similar to tilde in Spanish. Es la fuerza de voz. Similar to? Tilde. ¿Qué hace la tilde en el español? En las palabras. Mayor fuerza de voz. Y mayor, que... mayor fuerza de voz. Pero si usted observa esta lámina y este montón de palabras acá en inglés, ninguna tiene, tiene este acento. No, acento. Ah, no tiene acento. Entonces el stress es, es similar a la tilde en español. En inglés se le llama stress a la sílaba que lleva mayor fuerza, la, la, hoy diga, la fuerza de voz, ¿ok? Ok. Good. Así que, prefer, prefer, ese puntito que está sobre esa sílaba, está, significa que esa sílaba lleva la mayor fuerza de voz. Así que, si está así, duplico la última consonante y agrego ed. ¿Ok? Así que, eh, the last Participation is going to be Doribel. Doribel, read the last one. Okay, teacher. For verb ending in a consonant N, E, N, C, A, T, in. Aquí me, te, aquí me tiene que estar teletriando. Change the. Ay, ahí sí no sé la Y. 
why. A, B, C, D. Ya le voy a preguntar el alfabeto. A, N, I, B, D. Ah, ok. Study. Study. Ay, teacher, no veo, permítame. Vaya, 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 vaya. Está fallando la vista. Ah, estudi. Ah, ok. Thank you. Thank you, Doris. Es que es veo borroso. No escucha borroso. Yo veo borroso. <risa> <risa> Me falla la vista. Ay. No mira sordo. Vaya, pues, ok. Good. All right. For verbs ending in a consonant and Y. Change the Y to I and add ED. Study, studied. Okay, so those are the rules. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna take a picture, I'm gonna send it to the group y le tengo un poquito de verbo para que me practique las reglas. Ok, ahora, let's work, and we're gonna work in groups, porque el tiempo se nos fue, chicos. In groups, it's gonna be easier. One, two, Ok.
Hi, teacher. Hello. I'm sorry. I turned off my computer. Okay. I connected it off my, my cell phone. All right. But uh, uh, the room, room two. Uh -huh. Okay, let me see. Thank you. Okay, well.
Okay, this is the last, the last slide. Okay, we're back. I sent you a picture with the with the verbs. Maybe you can see it. Return, like, change, try. Yes, teacher. Try. Okay, you got it. Because we yes. have no more time. Yes, teacher. Ya se nos fue el tiempo. And we cannot solve the other activities, but I can send you a picture. Y lo hace usted como que fuera eh, tarea, verdad? Okay. Nunca le dije tarea, pero ustedes tienen una plataforma que cumplir. Take a look at this. Ahí va. And eso. A esto. Okay. Siempre poniendo en práctica los verbos en pasado, regulares e irregulares. Carlos Alberto, pues notificarle que ahora es la última clase. Okay, thank you, teacher. Bueno, Gracias, teacher, algo. por la ayuda y por aguantarnos. Ah, ah, no, al contrario. Eh, ok. Eh, Más por aguantarnos que flujo de más. <risa> no, tranquilos. Es parte. Gracias, de... gracias, gracias a ustedes. Gracias a ustedes. Por conectarse siempre. Eso es. Recuerde que ustedes son el, el ser, ¿verdad? La razón de que se ejecuten estas, estas clases, estos cursos. Sin alumnos no hay. No hay razón. Así que yo muy agradecido con ustedes. Espero haberles ayudado en algo y estamos a la orden. ¿verdad? Ahí, tenemos, ahí tienen mi, mi móvil. Ok, I'm, yo going también, to, uh, I'm going to call the attendance, ok? Anelisa, thank you, Saúl. Anelisa, No vino otra vez. Está, me falta poner un poquito para llegar a la noche. No está. Bueno, si se reporta, me avisa. Heriberto. Thank you, teacher. Ok, thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Ok, Carlos Alberto. teacher. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, Claudia Maria. Present teacher. Thank Muchas you. gracias. A ustedes. A usted. Christopher. Christopher no está. No. Damaris. Present teacher, gracias. Ok. Dori Bell. Present teacher, thank you. Ok, welcome, Eli. Ok, Dori Bell, thank you. Present teacher, thank you. Muchas gracias. A usted, Eli. Póngale ganas. Fernando. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Fernando. Jacqueline. Present teacher. Thank, Thank you, you so much. 
เป็นยื่นยาเกลีเกวาระเลสันติชาเป็นยื่นยัยซีมาสู้โอ้ยยัยซีคาร์ล่ะเลสันติชาเรียบร้อยเซนติเจอร์ยูลอรีนาบร้อยเซนติเจอร์ขอบคุณครับลิซฟอร์นันโดบร้อยเซนติเจอร์ขอบคุณขอบคุณทุกคนที่มาเรียนคุณอยู่ดีครับเรเบคาบร้อยเซนติเจอร์ขอบคุณมาริเอลอสเออชื่อที่เจอร์ขอบคุณ Um, thank you for everything. You're welcome, Maria Dos. Saul. Present teacher, thank you for uh, appreciate your help. Okay, thank you, thank you, and you're very you you were a very good student, Saul. Wendy. Thank you very much, teacher. Present teacher, thank you, okay, teacher, for your, your help in this. Class. Okay. Okay. Eh, bueno, chicos, this is our last day, our last. Uh, okay, our last class. Eh, maybe we'll see in the future. Okay. Study. Póngale ganas. A usted le gusta el idioma. Póngale ganas. Okay. No pare. No pare. Don't stop. Don't stop learning. Que aprendió dos palabritas, dos, tres palabras nuevas, de él le siga, siga, siga. Ok, continue. Ok, don't stop. Hasta que logre tener un buen dominio de video. Ok, así que, goodbye, good night, and good luck. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Good night. Take care. Good night. Take care. Good night. Take care.